Hashtag no music, no intro. We are live again. <laughs> Ryan's about to pass out. It's 11.05, but we had to do a a live show reacting to the Saints signing Chase Young, the former number two overall pick in the draft. Yep. From Ohio 20? State. Yeah. From Ohio State, the pedigree. And it, it's funny how how time changes things because I, I know how I felt about the possibility of, of signing Chase Young at the end of the season, and then fast forward that <laughs> a couple of months, and Chase Young's looking kind of nice, bro. Chase Young looking kind of good. From last week to this week, <laughs> last, week last week I'm like, eh, mm, eh, you know, eh, maybe you know for the right price. This week, I'm like, shit, where that Chase Young news at? Where he at? Where he at? He rescheduled. Did he rescheduled? He's coming. Like, well, I hit up uh, I hit up Titans homer early this morning. Like, bro, is he still coming to this visit the Titans? Wait, what's going on? Man, man we're feeding me, Chase Young news. Feeding, bro. It's Chase Young. And here's the Crazy. thing. Here's the thing. I was thinking about this earlier. You know, I watched the, you know, they have the cut up on him of, of you on YouTube. Uh, Big, also, big shout out to everyone who's just in the stream. Uh, it is, you know, nine Pacific time. It's eleven Central time. It's 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 midnight Eastern time. Mitch is seven p.m. there, and Mitch we up, have people up, <laughs> people um, just tuned in, and we 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 love it. We we appreciate it because uh, I felt like like this to me. This warranted a live show. Um, if you just consider everything involved, just right. the pedigree, all of it, the fact that the Saints were able to sign him, it's funny because they signed him literally to the exact fucking number we talked about, Ryan. Yeah. On the dot. Oh, my cat said, nigga, shut up. Been a little too loud. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he said, if I can't have your attention, no one can. Exactly. To the dot, thirteen million, fully guaranteed. And here's the thing: I don't. Oh, we got a Marcia Ambrosius. Shit, a Marcia Ambrosius reference in the chat. Shit. Whoa. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, Q said in the in the words of Marcia Ambrosius, "It's getting late." One of my favorite all time Florky songs. Uh, anyway, thank you, Q, for that for that deep dig. Um, thirteen million, fully guaranteed. People were, you know, some people were like, "Well, oh, they signed it fully." I do not care. Don't care. It's the going it's the going rate, bro. Coming off seven and a half sacks. It's the going rate. Davenport got the same contract last year. Mm, talk coming about off it. his point five sex. Talk, talk <laughs> about five. it, bro. He got talk. The, and then this year, after barely playing, this nigga got almost up to ten million. It's the going rate. If they think you could possibly pass the pass, rush the pass, you just gonna get paid, bro. Like I don't know. What like, where do we? Where did we go wrong? Maybe it's genetics or shit, bro. But I would like to have just been like an almost pass rusher, where I could get almost, in the NFL. And then, and then the rest of them, bro. Yeah. Give me be a Jeff Charleston or something like that. <laughs> oh, ninety seven, little deep cut, little deep cut. That's it. Um, but. I was thinking I, I watched those cutups and I know you watched some all 22 of him and you have some thoughts. Um, but I said in our discord, they, like just from last season when you saw him play. And I don't know if it was just cutups from last season or there were also cutups from the year before as well. I'm not hundred percent sure, <clears throat> but he moves completely effing different than anyone the Saints have on the defense. Like, oh, like yeah. I can't, I can't even. I, I, I get the warts that comes with him as a player, mm -hmm. but like the way he moves, the like it, you like the pedigree. Like you see the pedigree when you, you the watch pedigree. it. Exactly. You, you see it, bro. It's like, ooh, this is this is different. <laughs> this is different. Right. You ever exactly. You, you you don't you ever done gotten something before, bro? In the past, you like what what is this right here? Ooh, shit, this ain't this ain't that regular, bro. Like, who, that, that, hey. slow down. That's how this, it was like watching him, right? 
Right. It, like you said, it's the pedigree. It's, you know, the athleticism. Um, he has it, bro. Like, the potential is all there. It's it's can he live up to it? He's 24 years old. That is crazy. Coming off, coming off a, a, a seven-and-a-half sack season, uh, which equaled his highest sack total that he had his rookie year. Um, obviously, be in, been injured. You know, we had Patrick Claiborne. On the podcast recently, we talked about you know recovering from that injury and all that stuff. So you know, it, take, take, make no mistake, time, bro. Man. Yeah, make no mistake. Like this is a, a boom and bust signing, bro. It's oh, it's, big a, time. Big it's time. a big time boom and bust. It could it could go bad. Uh, it could go meh. It didn't go great. Like it 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 could go in any range. But I think it, if I I don't like maybe I just. To me, it's like, man, we we had Marcus Davenport. Like, can it right. like can it really go worse than that? Like, it like if that's the baseline, like I say, bad. Like, worse is like you know he gets three sacks, injured, missing games. You know, just you know one of those types of that'll be a bad worst scenario. You know, if he stays healthy, you could I could see him having like a seven eight sack season. You know, realistically, which is just you know like maybe won't blow anybody out the water, but. I mean, the Saints could use eight sacks. Honestly, I mean, they, <laughs> I mean, Bruh. Big Creep was the Big Creep was the only one cooking. I and mean, behind him, what? De, Demario Davis, <laughs> the most sacks outside there. Ain't so, that, ain't that wild, bro? That's that's some shit. Wild, bro. So um, I just love. I love that they got it done today. You could tell that they had to get it. Done. it. They, right? they, had they had to get it done, bro. And, and they knew if he left and went to Tennessee, he went to Baltimore. He wasn't coming back. It wasn't coming back, bro. It just wasn't going to happen. Um, they, they didn't let him out the building. They didn't. Lob 32 CD says he's a very underrated run defender. He absolutely is. Hmm. He absolutely oh, is. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. That's, uh, that's what actually stands out. For sure. Um, and now with him in the him in the, in the the mold or him in the building, you have Chase Young. You have Big Creep. You sprinkle in some Cam. You got Brian Brice on the defensive line and the interior. You got Willie Gay. So with just just Chase Young and Willie Gay alone, alone, you added speed and athleticism to a defense that desperately and youth desperately yeah. needed it. That's I bro. I keep pounding the table for this point. I keep saying it and I don't know what the outcome of it's gonna be. <clears throat> the next best move the Saints can make. It would probably have been the move that even before Chase Young, if they do not trade Marshawn Lattimore, that is the best move they've made in the offseason. Best move, bro. And this is why I feel like it could be so important. Chase Young, since he's been drafted in the NFL, he has not played with a level of secondary that the Saints have if Marshawn Lattimore is on the team. He Not Facts. in Washington, not in San Francisco. San Francisco is built differently. Got yeah, Bosa, you got Brett Warner, but they're not built back to front. Just the idea of him being playing with a decent <laughs> to good secondary with Lattimore, with Debo, hopefully um, Alante Taylor can bounce back, whatever Honey Badger gives you, and let's see what Jordan Howden does. Just that half a second, half a millisecond, those seven and a half sacks may go up to double digits because now you're you're – now you have a secondary that can potentially hold up in the back that can allow you to get to the quarterback quicker. And, and huge thing, we know DA struggles with fucking mobile quarterbacks, bro. We know he struggles with them. Chase yeah. Young and Willie Young, or Willie Gay, excuse me, helps with that aspect of things. Not completely, but it helps. Yeah, you have to look at it holistically. So you look at a guy like Willie Gay and Chase Young and say potentially they get some athleticism in a draft, whether that's edge, whether that's linebacker, whether it's whatever, safety, whatever. Just that in, infusion of youth speed, mm-hmm. it just helps, bro. Like, it just helps, helps man. man. Helps so much. So, it was, it's good to see, bro. Like, I just, it was getting so boring, bro. Like, like it, it was almost like, man, is this reality? Are the Saints really <laughs> doing this? Like, are they really going to close the checkbooks? And And I do like that. They still they didn't do anything really idiotic like give him like no, a four, year, four year, you know, thirty forty million dollars guarantee. You done like that. It's a one year deal. 
you know, it's not going to break the bank either way. Either it works. If it, if he plays great, they could try to extend him next, you know, come to this next season or they could, you know, franchise tag him, I mean, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so all the options are there. He said born like missionary man until today. <laughs> hey, yeah. Man. Put that, put that, put that in reverse cowgirl on us real quick today, bro. Oh, whoa. <laughs> on the feet, bro. Not, not the, on oh, the feet. Man. Anyway. Me out the Let game me. quick, boy. Out the game quick. That's the finishing move right there, boy. Finish him. <laughs> Anyway, um, like I, I like how Chase Young is gonna get all, all the um the the hubbub and completely like we're, let, let's hit on the Saints also signing a swing tackle kind of res, reserve swing tackle former Vikings Oli Aduhu Ado Ado oh, much better. Um, did, did you miss that one? No, I saw it. I was just like, oh. okay, I, I know nothing about him. Nothing. <laughs> Uh, I do absolutely nothing. Lob 32 City says, wonder if they can make a run at Justin Simmons, Jamal Adams, or Micah Hyde. I threw out the whole Jamal Adams thing, and probably the way they've been navigating and moving, to them it probably just makes more sense to them to just bring back Abrams. Also, what, didn't Chase Young say Abrams was part of the recruiting pitch, or did I miss that? Did I miss that? I don't know. Abrams <laughs> was a part of some recruiting pitch, bro. I don't, I don't know. And I'm like, how is he a part of recruiting pitch? He's not even on the team. <laughs> Right, I'm like, what? <laughs> um, I know, I know, man. I know uh, Tyran was there, yes, um, at the dinner and Da and uh, Ty Grantham and all them. Uh, nah, they, they made they made it work. I, I watched them all twenty two. I just I only watched one game. I watched the Lions Forty Nine ers game. Oh, playoff uh, game. Yeah. So I don't want to throw cold water on it because you know this is a, a, a optimistic podcast, but. It was kind of a struggle in that game, bro. And it's not so much of like the talent. It's going to be interesting how they approach him this year, this season, this off season, because you could obviously see the potential there. But they got to one. I think he he has to work on his stamina. Like, and I don't know what that's for him. I don't know if that's since he's been dealt, dealing with injuries and stuff like that. He gets accused of loafing and taking plays off and stuff like that. I don't see it like that. Like from the tape, it doesn't look like he's loafing. It's just he looked gassed, just gassed, bro. Hands on the hip, just like, whoo, and they'll take him out some plays and stuff like that. So I, he really needs to, you know, build his stamina up, uh, you know, to play four quarters and play with that speed. Because when he goes, he Ooh, goes, bro. Goes, bro. He goes. Yeah, he and when they put him, a lot of times the 49ers, they had him playing like kind of at the five tech. So it wasn't really flashy, you know. He's just going yeah, yeah, up yeah. against. He going up against Decker, bro. Decker had him like he ain't going nowhere. Bro. Decker, you know, yeah, <laughs> going nowhere, bro. Like I got you right here, but when he goes out wide, or sometimes yeah, they'll put him like, like a wide right tackle. Yeah, him, like, going, bro. He coming around that arc, and you know the Lions had to play that hurry up, you know, get the ball out quick type stuff. But if you get some of them quarterbacks that like to tap the ball, like our quarterback, you know, <laughs> to hold on to the ball, are. That's there, nigga. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, don't, don't play. We. No. We. <laughs> you, but if you get a quarterback like that, bro, he dude could, dude could make his man. And he, like the point you made with the coverage, and we've coverage, seen with the man. Saints. We see with the Saints. Even with our, our you know, poor pass rush, sometimes the coverage be so good. We Thick the bro. Coverage sets, bro. Coverage sets. Thick, Thick, that's what I'm saying. Love, like, I love coverage sets. I love all the coverage and, sets. It's just the point that I feel like it's a very underrated point of like he 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 started his career playing with the Washington Commanders, bro. Ooh. Like, like they didn't have nobody back there. Nobody. And bro. as good as the we got, we already up to thirty seven concurrent viewers. Much love. Hey. And as good as the Niners' defense were at times in spurts, they are built linebacker they're built on the defensive line that is how their team has been built and has been built for a number of years and the saints historically have been building technically they've been building back four they've been trying to build forward to back but that, that's why but they fail which leads to them now having to sign chase young for 13 million and it's so funny because he's getting like the pub and big creep and you got cam like, I feel like it's fans, bro. Like, we forget, like, Peyton Turner's on the team. Forget, uh, 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 
Isaiah Foskey. Like there, it's it's just not even in our like mind, bro. Like it's just gone. Like oh yeah, they're, okay, cool. I guess. Can you imagine if Isaiah Foskey like turns a corner? And not just oh, not say he becomes like a 12, 13 sack, but just he turns the five. corner, just a five, seven, eight sack guy, you know, that, that just disrupts and stuff like that. You get him and you get Chase Young and you got Big Uh-oh. Now, oh, oh, boy. Then you got Brzee going in the second year. Uh-oh. Oh, uh-oh. 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 Then you going to get the chat hot. <laughs> going to get the chat hot. My it was just so- You might, bro. And, uh, you know. The crazy thing about the Peyton Turner is like I saw like saw like glimpses of him he in training trying. camp, bruh, and, and in preseason, like it. glimpses, bruh, and then gets injured. Uh I think this is G. He says, Man, we just need Alex Okafor level of production. I, was, I was like Okafor was good, man. He was. I was thinking about this before we start recording. And analogy that I would want to make is the best case that this could work out for the Saints is if this if this is their 2024 Nick Furley. Let's go back. Let's go back, right? Nick Furley was a first round pick by the Lions, drafted 11th overall. I'm a sicko for knowing that off the fucking top of my head. Um had some season with the Lions where he licked, where he looked like he deserved to be drafted, where he was drafted. Then he had other seasons where it was like you didn't know what it was, motivation, just low, struggled, injured, and he becomes a free agent. The Saints signed him, and that one season that Nick Fairley played for the Saints, bro, I, I, I still remember. I remember Dominant. It, man. Dominant. It was good, bro. The, the rest of the defense was trash. Trash, but he was, but he was shining, man. He was shining, Shining. bro. And had it not, you know, give the Saints doctor something. If you got, if you got some heart issues, you got something, cart, 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 (laughs) bro. If you got like a life threatening issue, they gonna find it, bro. They gonna find (laughs) that shit. I give them that. (laughs) Nope. Don't have no broken bones, no oh, yeah. nothing you like got, that. Nah, nah, got some hairline fractures or something. Nah, you you all right. We nah, ain't the no. we ain't the one. <laughs> but if you got some cancer or something or something that just may threaten your life, go see the Saints doctor. Go see the Saints. But I just I feel like it's an apt comparison because it's the same kind of Nick Fairley kind of had that shine washed off of him. You know, yeah. when he was a free agent, when he was, when, you know, he was just kind of out there. Did he go to the Rams or I'm trying to think, I feel like he went to another team before he went to the Saints. Maybe he did. Maybe I'm trying I, to I feel like that. Yeah. Right. But, um, if this could be their version of Nick further in 2024, and then if Chase Young, you know, hopefully does not have any type of medical issues, like you want at the end of this season, you want to, it to the, be to the point where you're using the franchise tag on Chase Young. Like that's, that's what you want. Like, if yeah. he goes off and he gets you 12, 13, 14 sacks, you just like, oh, shit. <laughs> well, then it's like, well, is he is he this good? Is he just do this, doing this? You know, or is, is it just because of the contract year? It's a good problem to have. That's what you right. want long term. And hopefully they Chase Young can be their new Nick Thurley. No question, Maybe. man. And, and that's just the just the situation they in where they had to take a risk like that, you know? Had You're to. not going to get a guaranteed, you know, bona fide sack artist, you know, for an affordable penny right now. You're just not, mm. you know what I'm saying? I mean, they, these dudes don't grow on trees, hard position to fill. Um, so, I mean, they took a swing. We're going to see if it worked, baby. Like, it's, it, I'm just glad it happened, man. I'm Me too. I'm glad it happened. I am. Um, I gotta, I gotta read this. So our, our dude, John Hendricks, love John. He tweeted this earlier today, seven hours ago. Thanks Twitter for letting me know that Willie Gay Jr. And Chase Young getting added to the Saints defense is quite insane on paper. <laughs> on paper, baby. On paper. Hashtag. What do you think, baby? Hashtag, Hashtag on, paper. on paper. Um, <laughs> Here's here's where things do get interesting talking about this team building, right? The Saints have told you what they are 
what they feel is are, are must on their team. That's so a, a must. A must has been a linebacker, a must has been a, a pass rusher, and maybe a nickel corner, right? Obviously, then with the targeting Maddox. If they're able to get a nickel corner, it kind of opens up what they may be able to do in the draft overall. Now, right now, it really is looking like it's really looking like it's going to be an offensive line, right? Like, if we it be is, honest, bro. right? It's looking like yeah. it's going to be an offensive line. Um, Pete's visiting Titans. Um, and, you know, maybe he'll be back. Maybe he won't. We'll see. But I, I think something that we're just not going to know, right, is how they view their offensive line. That that's a huge missing part. It's very it's kind of easy to assume like, well, Rams, you know, probably his last season. You know, they missed on pinning, blah blah blah. So they have to draft off the tackle. Maybe, maybe Clint Kubiak's coming in and he's like, no, I, no, no, I, I got I got something here. But to I'm just gonna throw this at you too. If they draft an offensive lineman in the first round this year at 14, you have now had pinning. Rookie this year, um, <coughs> Ramchek, Ruiz, and Eric McCoy, who's a second round. That is four first round picks and one second round pick on the offensive line. With those type of investments on O line, bro, like, you should have an Eagles type of offensive line, bro. Right. <laughs> like, that's like, crazy. Like, you, like you're going to draft another first rounder in the first round to just be, to get to maybe like maybe average or a little above average offensive line wise. I, that, that's what keep, I keep going back to. It doesn't like, it logically does not make sense to me. And I get it. You, you got to keep drafting until you, you, you hit blah, blah, blah. I get that. But that is a crazy thing to think of that. They would potentially have four first round picks on the team at O line and one second round pick. That's but to me, to me, I'm trying to figure out, okay, what, what's the issue here? Like, is it the player we draft in? Is it the coaching? coaching? Is it the scheme? Is it the, what I'm trying to figure out, we got to get that ironed out before we start just throwing players in because then we get to a situation where we draft another high first round pick, you know, offensive lineman, and he's not living up to potential either. So then it's like, what are we doing? What are we, are we doing? So, you know, like you said, man, like you would get it if they went well, like it would make sense. But I'm just hoping. I'm hoping they keep it BPA and I you know. I would I would prefer I prefer to go get Latu, bro. Like get r- really cook. Like if really you want to if you want to attack offenses, right? <clears throat> this is all assuming like they don't go receiver, they don't go Brock Bowers, nothing like that. They don't no quarterback. Give me Latu cuz then you have Latu. You have Chase Young. You have Creep, you have Cam, you have Brees. See, you have completely remade your de- your defensive your defensive line. Completely remade it, bro. Completely not not even and not even taking into account whatever whatever you might get from Peyton Turner and Isaiah Z- Foskey. It's remade. It remade. Now, now you completely shifted a weakness into a strength, and that's what the all season all about, right? Right. I mean. Uh, Come on. Uh, I would love it. G asks, if we go OT, who do you guys prefer? G, I'll be honest with you. I'm not watching a single effing snap of any offensive line prospect. Um, But I do like, uh, uh, I was an Oregon State guy, Huanga. Yeah. yeah, I I do. I I do enjoy him. Um, Also curious to see how the, (laughs) also curious to see how the anti-Baxter helps the O-line this season. Oh yeah, hey Rick, Rick Dennison. Yeah, Dennison. Hey, if you kept the old line, bro, like it's all right. You ain't gotta take the jab, bro. Like it's all right, bro. Like, I uh, our dude Dean Dean in the Bay says is pinning done. I I don't I don't think don't I don't know. think I, I don't think they can, I don't think you can give up on pinning in his third season when he hasn't even really played. I don't think I don't think you could do that. Crazy. Man. That would be crazy. That would be nuts. Like that would be absolutely absurd. Like he had to have smashed 
DA wife or something like that. Like it, it, that's that would be insane, bro. I would I would have I would love of that to have been the thing so we could have content for, for just years, bro. Just oh. years, bro. <laughs> we would do an emer- emergency live stream just on that, bro. Been trash the cakes, man. Like I, it just don't make sense, bro. Like he. he he still has something there, man. I don't know what it is. I don't know, like Landon, London say he could be a guard. I don't know. Right tackle, left something. He could be a starting offensive lineman in his league, man. I just refuse to believe he can't. He's about- I can't that he's that bad? Like that have you seen offensive line play in this league? <laughs> I got some bad offensive line play starters like that start week to week. Yes. He told me he uh, can't start. You know who's like terrible? Like absolutely terrible. Juwan fucking Taylor of the Chiefs. Man, got a Super Bowl mm. ring, bro. Now, he does play with Superman at quarterback, right, but, right, like, right. he's not, like, that good. <laughs> I, I, Orlando, Orlando Brown, like, he, you know, he can stay getting paid, and he's average. Like, all average, right, bro. bro. Yeah, all right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't tell me Penny can't get to average. That's all I'm saying. I ain't saying be elite. But right. we can't coach this dude to average, like t- teach him three key things in pass protection to just be average. This is gonna be this is gonna be sad as hell, bro, because we're having the same exact conversation. He he can't be the 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 twentieth best left tackle in the league, bro. Right back to Ruiz, bro. Right back to Ruiz. And look, look, look what happened with Ruiz. Look what happened with Ruiz, bro. He he got but what a big difference is he got the play in time. He got the snaps. Like, yeah, exactly. He also got bullied, but but like the playing time. He took his lumps snaps. though. He took he his did. lumps though. He took his lumps, man. Um, Brian said, "Man, gonna go get cut, go to Denver, and make three pro holes under Sean and Streif." <laughs> um, <laughs> we we we. This is for all intents and purposes is not going to be a long live show. We just wanted to really kind of get on. Um, we got to the, the Chase Young news. Um, any, any, anything else from, here's what I don't want to have. The, like the momentum, the buzz, everything's right, right here for the Saints, right? Don't do some dumb shit that's going to throw cold water on it. Please Please don't. Please don't. Like, like it was like, oh, they hired all these new offensive like staff. And then there's like the, the. The Jeff Duncan hit piece are like need that right now, bro. We don't need it. It's not needed. I just I, I would love to see them make another offensive lineman move. Whether that's bringing back Pete, bringing another, you know, like average tackle or something like that. I don't have any names available to me right now, but if they do that, that would give me the confidence that they're going into this draft ready to just spring. Free, bro. Just free and take like a good ass player, and that would make me feel so much better at the draft party. You know, coming up, we'd be in there, we'd really be waiting. Like, who are they gonna draft? Who are they gonna draft? Like, that's the funnest shit, bro. It is. Uh, Justin asked if Latu and Bowers are there at fourteen. Who do you Ooh. take? Ooh. Hey, y'all. Darius Rucker here. You know, a lot of people ask me what inspires your music. And one of the big things is a strong sense of place. That's why I love my home state of South Carolina and want to share the awesome things it has to offer. From the beautiful mountains down to the sunny coast, it's got it all. Not to mention two of my personal favorites, great golf and amazing food. Come see why I love this place. Visit discoversouthcarolina.com. You did something for the first time. Uh, I go I- I'm going, with Bowers. Go I'm going with Bowers. I'm going with Bowers, bro. Just, just to the tape. Just tape. Just there, bro. Just, right just there. there. He's been just healthy. The... Come on, man. Like a dog. Like I think he. I think DJ. Uh, he may have moved him recently, but he's like top six, top five, top four player on DJ's board. He board. Not moving, bro. He's not moving no more than that because he just. Well, sometimes you just get good players like that, bro. That, to me, that's just an easy one because he's like a good player. I don't like, care all that shit about positional value, this, that, and the other. Don't care like, about that's it, That's just a good player that's going to play for your team and score touchdowns and move the ball and, you know, be an exciting player, bro. Like, G said, the, Bauer, Bowers is a prospect everyone thought Pitts, Kyle Pitts was. Yes, I've been exactly. saying yes. 100%. Yeah. 
100%. Exactly. Is. Uh, Sherm asks the real question: Are we back on the quote unquote bus? <laughs> bro, I'm just, I'm just riding, bro. I was, I'm on a bus. I'm just riding, though, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, are, are you on the bus? Or are you on your own bus? That's the question. I'm, you know, it's, I feel like this, bro. It's the off season, man. Like, right? Like, I feel like there's enough time for pessimism and being pissed and this and that. There's yeah. gonna be plenty of time for that, bro. Plenty of time come September <laughs> when the you know when we get on the field. But now it's hope season, bro. It's okay to have hope. It's okay it to is. just be like, man, we might get some fun football this season. Not saying we're going to win a bunch of games. Not saying we're going to save the job, this, that, the other. Not even worrying about none of that. Just give me some fun football. And right now is the time you're building those little pieces that maybe yep. you will get some fun football, man. Mm-hmm. And just to think about it, we build it for the future also. So especially when it comes to the draft, you know, that's behind the A. You know what I'm saying? That's behind, yeah. you know, whoever comes in after him, if he, you know, if he were to leave. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that's the future of the Saints is what I'm thinking about, man. So a bus, I don't know, man. I, I grew up in New Orleans, bro. We we didn't catch the, like, the yellow school buses after school. We rode the public, the public bus, the RTA. And we got on that motherfucker. And, and that's why I feel like I'm on a regular days RTA bus. You know, it might break down, you know what I'm saying? Or might get you there. Might get you there, might not, but you just own it, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm riding uh, those little 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 scooters right now. I'm just I'm just riding the scooter, bro. Just <laughs> just, uh, just, the, just, mo- just moseying along. Little scooters, you just scan your little app and the boop, <laughs> take a little just ride. Moseying along. <laughs> uh, Rod said they made a splash shining right before those tickets for New Deadline on Friday. They not slick, fam. Oh, 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 that's a good one. Oh, oh they no, they, they try to they try to run our card. Nope. No, buddy. Nope. Nope. Absolutely not. Begging, nope, don't begging people to take them tickets for this season. Dang it. Please, not please take again. It. Not again. Um. But truly, truly, thank y'all so much for just hopping on quickly, just doing this live live chat or live show. We appreciate it. We got up to seventy four views uh, in total, and we got we got like forty five concurrent viewers right now, forty six, which is kind of crazy. Like I think that's our highest oh, yeah. number thus far. Um, so let's go maybe five, eight more minutes. Sorry, my camera keeps going out of focus. Uh, just opening it to questions or anything that Ew. people have. Uh, yeah. You know, we any question. I don't care. Any, anything. Almost anything. Uh, can we <laughs> where is Kate? Where's Kate, Ryan? Do you, know Kate is? You, do you know where Kate is? I, I don't, I don't know, know where she is. Do the UK know where Kate is? What is going on? <laughs> I don't know, bro. That girl they showed that wasn't Kate. <laughs> that was not Kate, Ryan. That was not Kate. I you, you know I know white girls. That wasn't Kate. Okay, I can identify him. Was not. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, Dean asked, uh, "Did I miss y'all speak on Fields?" Oh, uh, it's funny. We actually spoke on Justin Fields on Friday during our Patrick Claybon episode, mm-hmm. um, a little bit. So, if you want to go back listen to it, we actually, I we, I threw it out there as soon as the Kenny Pickett happened that it made a lot of sense for Justin Fields to to get traded to the Steelers and. Like it happened like the next day, which is kind of crazy. Uh, Brian says she Kate's hiding from the BBC, getting herself getting herself some BBC. <laughs> you know what? I can believe that. I can believe that. They're like first Megan, now this Negro in the in the Parliament. Oh God! Anyway, um, Sherm, why? Does these signings come off as a DA want or a Mickey want? That's a great question. I would probably say it's a DA great want. Yeah, absolutely. that man trying to that man trying to get stay get his job. He's just trying to stay hired on. For real, bro. Like, um, that's here's a good one that Scott asked. What are what are we doing at both kicking positions? That's a great question because it it they are both both. Low key and high key needs. 
<laughs> Big uh, me. For some reason, I feel like they're going to stick with the uh, field goal kicker. Yeah. Uh, groupie. Uh, groupie, yeah. I feel like they're going to stick with it. Might bring in some competition, but just the way he finished, I think – I mean, he was a rookie, bro. Like, I think they're going to squint and be like, maybe we could just – Maybe. Why does he get that latitude and Trevor Pinnon doesn't? That, I don't know, that's bro. the thing that just blows my mind. That's, I don't know. Like, he literally cost the Saints football game, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Uh, uh, Lou Bessie, I know we have, I know we have had him to go with Matt, Matthew, but do you think are seri- the Saints are worried about safety? If so, do you think they would try to go after Simmons or draft a safety in the later rounds? Um... Just the, I would say this, just the way that Jeff Ireland's able to identify secondary players, I feel like they, it's a position that they feel like they can get players in later rounds and be okay with them. That said, it all depends on who's making those picks because yeah. all Jeff Ireland can do is he could just stack the board. And if right. the board is stacked and if it, they don't draft the players the way it's stacked, that's out of his hands. Yeah, and I also think just the way safety the safety position is now in the league, bro. Like they're going to be guys available in April, May, June. I mean, we saw they pulled in guys like uh, you know, Abrams. You know what I'm saying? Right. And Liney. I'm not saying it's not important, but I think it's just one of those positions where they feel like they could get by, especially if you keep Lattimore. Like. That's like he, he's such a huge puzzle piece to the whole equation. Huge, because huge if you take him out the equation, then safety yeah becomes like a bigger need. Huge. But if if he stays, then it's kind of like we can get by with some guys. You know what I'm saying? With some guys that could just you know that that are smart, know how to get to the ball and stuff like that. You know. You know what would warm my heart? And someone brought this up in the Discord earlier today. And the Ravens haven't cut him or released him yet, and I don't know if they're going to. I know. It was talked about he may be a cap casualty. They can just bring Marcus Williams back, bro. Oh, no, if, if they could just bring him back and just m- more good vibes, just more. Here, here you go, here you go, Papa. Like we're doing some, like that would just make it make it feel like maybe they just like got a shot. Maybe, yep. maybe. Yeah, no, I I, I love that. I love that. Oh, Justin says, "Who is who's on your Mount Rushmore of white women?" I mean, that's that has so many qualifiers. Is it like my first crushes? Is it like porn? It, that that's a whole a whole thing. whole episode, like whole episode. <laughs> I, I could give you my number one, but then that would call like that's redacted. So no, we're we're gonna save that for something else. Um, <laughs> yeah, Brian. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's like a anyway. I mean, I could talk about it, but like, oh yeah, I know, oh I know you can. I know you can. <laughs> um. Anyway, thank y'all for the questions. We just you know we we saw how many people were in the in the chat, and we wanted to kind of keep it going. Um. See how Dante said. See what happened when y'all do late night pods. Here's the thing, Dante. This would happen if we were doing a late night pod or an afternoon pod. <laughs> Don't matter. <laughs> Just us. Don't matter. I would, lo- I would love to talk talk to Ryan about um, Boeing and all that, but uh, we'll we'll say we'll say that for the the, oh, the air airline podcast. <laughs> man, I'm trying to talk about this Hubble constant. Um and and just let's, you know, I, we need to get a sign. Where are our science people at, bro? Yeah, we need to let's get go, a, let's, let's go. Let's get a Sophia back on. on. Get Sophia let's, somebody, Sophia. bro. The the universe is expanding at different speeds depending on where you look. Come, come, th- think about that for a hot second. What? Uh, what? We living in the matrix, man. What the <laughs> hell is going on, man? See, if I was Derek Carr, that's what I'd blame it on, bro. Like how? What do you ask? What do you want me to do? The, the universe? Oh, the, 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 you know, space time is expanding. I mean, you know. Uh, Rod said. Will this training camp be like Greenbrier or Millsaps camp? Ain't gonna be Millsaps. I promise you. Here's the thing. I struggle with how I won't say good, but I struggle with how DA runs training camp. Oh, I I hate it. 
it's it's been it's been on our radar since jump since, since jump man jump. um it just feels like it's too like the first season it was too lax it was like we're the same so a lot and it went terribly and then it, it was supposed to get better last training camp and i don't know if it did um so i wonder how much changes if any they're really putting in in it, play it, it, and the thing is, I don't, I don't like how they evaluate uh, during training camp. It's obvious how bad they evaluate during training camp. Like you were talking about, you were talking about yesterday when they do those uh, joint practices, mm-hmm. and they take they take so much into account from those. Where it's just like too much. Like it's, they take too much from it, man. Like, come on, man. You know, you still can't hit the quarterback, so you can't really take much from the passing game in those situations. Uh, it's I, I'm not a fan of how you run training camp at all. Maybe we'll see. Maybe it's just there being like better weather this year. Maybe mm-hmm. they'll turn it up a little bit. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that's that's on my that's on my radar big time. So oh, has has been on ours for for a, a bit. Uh, big shout out to Justin for the the super chat. Much love, cool. uh, Sherm. Last one for me, and I know it's way too early. Real way too early. But realistically, what's our record by the end of the season, and do we make the playoffs? Um, I'm going to go – I mean, I, I always forget how to do the math now with 18 games. 17. 17, 17 Sorry. Games. I'm going to go 8-9. and nine. Wait. Yes. 8-9. and nine. 8 nine. And miss the playoffs. And that's me being generous. Generous, bro. I'm gonna say that, that that schedule's hard as hell, man. It's hard, bro. I'm gonna say seven and ten. Seven and ten. Missing man. the playoffs. They go eight but and it's nine. It's gonna be or... fun. It's gonna be a fun seven wins, bro. <laughs> Kitty, can, please. Uh <laughs> Dean asked if we watched Constella- Constellation. I haven't. I've heard great things about it. Um, it's on my list. Uh and then last What's one, that? Brian. It's a like a it's a it's a like a space show, but also it's like sci-fi kind of mixed with like thriller. Hmm. Um, but it's on, a, it's on, a, it's on the, the app that you'll never watch shows on. So. Well, Apple, Apple Plus. T- yeah. Bro. Apple TV. Uh, <laughs> they got some good shows. They got some shows I want to watch on Apple TV too, bro. Um, Brian says DA coaches like a substitute teacher and folks wonder why the kids great suck when it's time for test. Bro, write that shit Her- down for real. Bro. <laughs> On the money. <laughs> okay, buddy. I know. I know. My cat said, all right, wrap it up, dad. Um, anyway, thank y'all so much for the support. We just wanted to get this out there. Uh, we appreciate y'all. We love y'all. Uh, Mitch gave actually a really good idea for us to do when we do, when we do our mock draft episode to make it like a live mock draft episode. Ooh, I think that could, be, that could be really fun. He doesn't have a beef with... Apple TV, right? Or Scott, he, Scott, he just doesn't have Apple TV. That's it. <laughs> and he, he, no, I, I got he an, just... I, I got enough subscriptions. I got a <laughs> shit. That's the day to today the eighteenth. I gotta redo Disney Plus because X Men about to drop on the twentieth. Twentieth, yes so, sir. So <clears throat> they gotta be back, bro. Back in, yes sir. Anyway, thank y'all. We we appreciate y'all. We love y'all. We will be back sometime hopefully these these this team doesn't do anything that makes us come back on a on a on a not great note we're just trying to keep this wave to keep this high um but we appreciate y'all we love y'all thank y'all for tra- jumping on at on short notice and we will be back soon and with that we're out peace